Kuwait's is giving me a discount code for anybody watching this video who wants to buy this product. Here's the code, 15JM. Put that code in and I'll leave the links in the description box where you can get this product here. I get a bit of a commission off all sales. Okay, Wheats uh, reached out to me and asked me whether they do a, a YouTube video on their circuit breaker finder here. Uh, they sent me the uh, this model number, KT301P. And I think this the other model has everything except for the uh, optional lead adapter. So I'm going to take a look at what they sent me here. They want me to review this. I have no idea what's in here. Nice carrying case here. Oh. See what we got inside here. Oh, okay. So we got two sets of batteries. Batteries for this, uh, batteries for this. So we've got a, a manual here. And it looks like we got socket adapters here. Three prong to two prong here. And we got a couple leads here. So we're gonna put the batteries in here and it's nicely wrapped in here, inside the case here. And uh, we're gonna test this out. And it has a manual with it too. And we'll check this out here. See what we got from them today. Let's install the batteries. There's two AAA batteries goes in the transmitter and uh, small little screw. So make sure you don't lose it here. And uh, Phillips number zero, put in the uh, receiver here, and we're ready to go. There's our protective plastic here. Just take that off here. Now you you plug it in. It's not going to show you anything. You have to press the button here. I show you. So you plug it in. It's not going to come on. You have to turn it on. Hold on the part button. Now it's on. Plug it in. Green light. Now it'll show you 122 voltage. It says it's wired correctly here. So it's got the neutral, the line, and E is for the uh, ground, or E is for earth. So it shows me that 122 volts, and it's wired correctly here. And uh, this will automatically shut off after five minutes. Five minutes, it'll automatically shut off. Or if you just want to shut it off, just hold the button here, and it'll shut it off. Save yourself some battery here. This is your Kiwi's KT301 circuit breaker finder. So they have two uh, AAA batteries in both of them. So you turn the unit on, you plug this into your outlet here. And then you're going to use your wand here to find that outlet. So first you have to scan it. So you turn the power on here. Hold it down. Now it's going to have a little, uh, a little uh, magnifying glass. So you scan your panel all the way down. And it learns the panel. You pull it away from the panel for three seconds and rescan, and it'll find this receiver, whatever breaker that receiver is sending the signal from. Now, there's a couple other functions here. This little press the button here, the little see the little light button. You have a light on the end of it here. You're checking your panel in the dark. That puts that back off here. Another function is the, uh, the voltage, NCV, non conductive voltage. So you can check for voltage in your line here. Very handy feature to have. These are two outlet testers. This is the one for Canadian Tire. You just plug it in. This one comes with two AAA batteries in it. And you plug these in. This indicates it with lights. This indicates lights and it actually shows you that it's got a correctly wired. So it's a neutral the light and E is for earth or ground here. It holds that reading there. Plug it back in. Let's shut the power off here. The power is off here now. This outlet doesn't show no power. This, the only thing I don't like about it, it shows the last reading. So there's actually no power on this. So you shut that off, you reset it here, you shut it off, put it back on. And plug it back in. There's no light. And there's no voltage here. Hey, we're here for just finishing up here. We'll shut the power off here. It takes a few seconds here. And we'll check our receivers plugged in here. We're going to find out what breaker it's on here. It shows 128 volts here. We'll go down and check what breaker it's on. 
Let's use our circuit breaker to find the uh, breaker here. You know, turn the light on as well, put the bottom of the light on. And make sure you hit the function button uh, to uh, scan the breaker panel here. Hit that function button. Now we're going to scan the uh, breaker panel here. That's what's required to do. Scan it first. And then look for your breaker. So we're scanning it now. And it says uh, pull the uh, circuit breaker away. Wait for three seconds. One, two, three seconds here. And we scan it here. Look for our breaker. So we go down the panel here. Then we found it. See the red uh, comes up red here. Now we found our breaker here. And shut the power to the breaker off. Check and see if we got power there to the air fryer there. Actually, it uh, took more than five minutes, so I'm automatic shut off here. So I have to turn it back on. And I'm going to plug it back in. And then make sure, yep, so we got no power here. It's battery operated, shows a display, but there's no power. So you got your circuit breaker finder here, this little wand here. But the best part of this uh, kit is this. Now you can test uh, all kinds of things on your on your outlets here. I'll plug this in here. And we see that's 122 volts here, and it's correctly wired. Now we're going to use this prop. This is just a prop show you different uh, scenarios that's uh, uh, wired wrong. We're going to do the wire things wrong to show you this uh, This uh, little uh, transmitter tells you what it's all about your electricity here. So this is wired properly. So we've got the live wire, the black wire on the gold screw, and we've got the neutral wire on the silver screw and the ground wire. Now we're going to take the live wire put it on the silver one and neutral wire on the gold one and we'll see what it says on our on our transmitter now we got wired wrong with the live wires on the silver screw and the neutral wires on the gold screw put it all back together and we'll check it out with the transmitter live wire is on the silver screw neutral wires on the gold screw we'll plug our and we see it's got reverse. See, it says reverse here. It's flashing in, and the, the line and the neutral is reversed. The red light on here. So it's in reverse. It's not wired properly. So in this scenario, we got the ground on. We got the uh, neutral wire on the proper screw here and the silver screw. But we removed the black wire here. So for some reason, if you've, you're missing a black wire or it's not connected here. And we're just going to put a Vago connector on here just to isolate it here inside the box here. Now we're going to put it back together and see what uh, shows in our transmitter here. So the black wire is disconnected there from the outlet here. We just got the uh, neutral wire on. We'll plug it in see what it shows here. And it's going to show no voltage. It's like it's off. There's no voltage there. So the black wire is disconnected, so it shows no voltage here. So this scenario, we have the live wire connected to the gold screw. We're going to take the uh, neutral wire off and just put it on the Vago connector here. So it's not connected to the, the silver screw here and see what we get here. Remove the uh, neutral wire or the white wire. We'll plug it in and see what we get here. So you get a red light and then it shows here open and the end is lodging inside the transmitter here. So open neutral. So we're going to show you when there's no ground connected. So we've got power coming in, the black wire going to the gold screw. We've got the neutral going to the silver screw. And we're going to disconnect the, uh, the ground cable and use this uh, Vago connector here and just separate it. So there's no ground connected to this outlet here. And we'll plug it in and see what we get. So we remove the ground wire and the uh, live wire is connected to the gold terminal. Neutral wire is connected to the silver one. Now we've got what they call open ground. The E stands for earth or ground here. And open ground, we've got the air here. Red light. This is wire mold. This installs on the outside of your wall here. 
and we're going to plug our transmitter in here and I know it's going to be open ground there's no ground wire in this part of the house there and I had to fix that up that circuit uh, the whole circuit doesn't have uh, ground wire so open ground here so the transmitter tells me that so I'm going to have to fix this up this whole circuit up and put a ground in it Another adapter they give you, this is uh, plugged into your light socket, and then uh, you have to use this attachment so you can check your light socket, power in your light socket. Then you would just plug this into here, and then turn the whole thing inside your light socket, and then see uh, what breaker that's on. So we'll try this out. This is a recessed light to take the uh, cover off here. It's an LED light, so it's not that hot there. Remove the light. And it put the whole uh, thing in the adapter plus the, the transmitter here. And uh, you'll get a reading pretty soon here. There it comes on there now. And we have the right reading there. It shows uh, open ground here. So there's two buttons. You have to turn the bottom button on here and then hit the function button so you'll see that little uh, magnifying glass come on there. Now it's ready to uh, scan your panel here. So it's Got to scan your panel, like I said before. Scan your whole panel, and then uh, pull it away for three seconds, and then rescan it to find your breaker here. So we're scanning the panel here. I think this is a Federal Pioneer panel. I'm not sure. So pull it away for three seconds there. So one, two, three. Now we'll scan the for the breaker now. So we'll go down and find the breaker you're looking for. So we scan it here. Come on the other side. And uh, looks like it's going to be the last breaker here. And there's our breaker right now. It should turn red here too. There it goes. So we got our breaker in there now. And shut the power to the breaker off. So the power is off the recessed light here, but because it holds uh, whatever reading it is from the last time you plugged it in, and you have to reset it here, so now it shows there's no power. Ueats is aware of this issue and they're looking at fixing it. This has a test button for a GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter. So you plug it in, it'll tell you it's wired correctly. Green light and it shows you everything is correct here. And you hit that test button to try out your GFCI here. And it passes her and then hit the reset it's back on now it holds the last reading so you have to shut it off back on again and it shows it's correctly wired you give you this connector to check for the live wires here and uh, now there's uh, two connectors here a black and a red here and you plug your outlet tester into here and uh, I'm going to turn it on here. And we're going to connect the, they want you to connect the red wire to the live, the black wire to the neutral. I would thought it would be different, but they told me the red wire goes to the live wire, the black goes to the neutral. Then we'll plug in after. So there's alligator clips. So black to the uh, neutral, red to the black wire or the live wire. And we're going to flip this around and be careful what happens here. I don't pl like playing with live wires. That's the wire correctly. It's telling you there's no ground there. The E, e stands for uh, earth or ground here. Then you take your tester here and find it what breaker uh, on the panel it is. Don't forget that 15% discount there on the Kuwait Circuit Breaker Finder here. So I hope you enjoyed my video today on the Circuit Breaker Finder from Kuwait's because they're nice carrying keys. Include the two AAA batteries inside the transmitter and inside the Circuit Breaker Finder. Has a 5-minute automatic shutoff on both these devices. Comes with a light, light adapter, so you plug this in and you plug this in to find out what circuit breaker your light is on. It even has this uh, connector here to check for the live wires. 
Special thanks to Jane from the Kuwaits who helped me out in a lot of questions I had on these Kuwaits products here. So please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps grow my channel. I thank all my subscribers. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a great one, people.